Hi creatives and welcome back to Agency Academy and today we're going to talk about optimizing your business and if that's not a word that you've never heard before it essentially means taking all the things that you don't love doing and that are quite repetitive and setting them up so that they happen automatically without you having to always put in the time to for example post to social media every day or every week and it saves you a ton of time and it also means that you're able to focus on things like strategy and also just enjoy doing the work that you actually like in your business, which is a really big step if you have your own business. So the first thing that I want to talk about with automation is why it's such an important step in running your own business. Because when you're caught up kind of doing all these different things, wearing all these different hats, it's super easy to get a little scattered, to not really feel focused and to forget about a lot of the important things. So I'm going to go through step by step how you can actually automize your business. And we're also going to talk about some of the tools that I just love, I find so helpful. And they've been really important for me in building my own creative business. So step one is to identify literally everything that you do in your business on a daily basis, on a weekly basis, on a monthly, even on a yearly basis. But try to focus on the things that come up a lot because that's where we're going to save the most time. And it can feel a bit overwhelming or intimidating to try to find literally everything that you do in your business. But that's kind of the point because those are the things that are going to take up most of your time. And having this long list of things means that we can find patterns. And so step number two is to look at this list and see which ones of them are you, one, enjoying and not enjoying, and two, seem easy to automate. So something like, for example, invoicing, contracting, those are things that typically are quite repetitive. Or something like social media or collecting files, they're also very repetitive. But things like coming up with ideas for concepts, that might something, be something that is more difficult to automate because it requires your mental energy and your expertise. Posting something to social media, even if you have to create the content, the posting itself doesn't require your expertise. It just requires the pressing of a button. So that's a perfect thing for actually automating. So now that we know step one, what are all the different things you do in your business? Step two, which ones do you like and not like? And which ones seem to be easy to automate? Now we're gonna take all those ones that seem easy to automate and that you don't like doing, and we're going to see if there are any tools that you can use to automate them. So I've split up the tools into different categories. I'm gonna show you one tool from each category, but there's a ton of options out there. So if you're really curious, you may wanna look for different options at different price points, or if you wanna try some different trials, you can go to the link in the description where we have our automation blog post and you'll find a whole array of different options that you can test out. So the first tool we're gonna have a look at is Later. It's a social media tool where you're able to schedule your social media posts for things like Instagram and Facebook. So what you do is you start by adding all of your different assets, then you drag and drop the posts that you like at the different time of day in your calendar, and you'll have a window pop up where you can put the caption for the post. And this is great because you, I find it so much easier to write on a computer. I don't know if you're the same. And uh, then you can copy paste in your hashtags and you can also do things like set the location where you want to post from so people can discover you that way. And you also have the option to reschedule it if you want to do that right away. And you can either automatically post it or get a notification and approve it. Then you just click save and you'll see that the post will appear in your schedule. And once it's appeared here, it can sometimes take a little bit, if it's a bigger image, you can just drag and drop it into the different positions. So if you change your mind and you want to try a different position, you can just drag and drop your post. So next we're going to look at Kayla and Kayla is a content collection tool. So here you can collect content and files like images or text for a website from clients and collaborators. And it does everything automatically for you. So you just set up projects with different requests and the tool will collect the content for you. So when we arrive, we're at the dashboard and we just click new projects. 
You can put in the details like the client name. You can put a description of the project. You can also set a role. You can be a manager or a creative which have different levels of access and then you can approve it. Then you have new requests and you can also see your team. And you can then create requests for the different files that you need, putting in a description of what the title of the request is. You can write a description that's helpful so that the person submitting something to you knows what you're looking for. You can then also add in things like the due date, and this is going to come in because we have automatic reminders that you can set the frequency of. You just put in the person's email, who you want to collect the files from, and then you are done. Once you have all the files, they will come in the approved files section. Next up, we have a tool for doing your accounting. And the tool that I've been using a lot is called Xero. What I really like about Xero is that you can easily get an overview using your dashboard. So you've got things like the invoices that are owed to you. So you can always see how much money is coming in and how much money is going out through things like expenses. You can see your business account, how it's changing over time. And this gives you a really good overview and understanding of your business. And you've also got the total cash in and out as a balance. So this is great for understanding what's happening in your business, and the automatic portion about this is instead of you always having to create a new invoice for something, you can use this tool to add in your clients, send out invoices, uh, you can see the balance that's happening. And then once money arrives, you can sync it with your bank account and just do your accounting that way. So instead of having to put in every single expense and every single month piece of money coming in, you actually just sync it with your bank account and it, it makes your accounting a lot easier. Next up, we have contracts. And this is one that I really like to use a tool for because collecting signatures is something that can be quite tedious if you don't have an online signature program. And uh, I've been using Signable a lot. So with Signable, you can just add in the document that you have, so like a sample contract that you've got, and just amend the details a little bit for the specific customer. So when we start, we can upload the document, we can add the different parties, and then we can then add fields for people to sign and put in the date. So if we scroll down to the signature area, I can see that I, me and myself is one person signing. So I'll add a signature for me. And you just click and click on the document where to place the signature. And I'm also gonna put in the date. And then I'm switching to my client and I'm adding in their signature fields in the same way. Once that's done, you just click send now and the envelope will be sent first to you to sign and then to your clients. Next up, we have MailChimp, which is a email automation tool, which I think a lot of people in business are familiar with. It's super easy to use and you can do things like campaigns and automatic email sending through it. So what I'm gonna look at today with you is how to set up an automated email sequence. So we're gonna have a look specifically at emails, but there's also ads and other things you can do. So what we're gonna do is, if you see this tab called automated, we're gonna to go to welcome subscribers as a new one, for example. So this is if you have people that you either wanna onboard or they're a new subscriber. And you can also do things like an education series. You just pick the list that you want to use and you can then create your email from scratch and once someone signs up through your email form or through a sign up page on your website they will automatically get added to that list and they will automatically receive each of the emails that you put in your email chain. The next step is to set aside something like one day a week where all you do is plug everything into your different tools, make sure everything's up to date, you can bulk create content. So let's say, for example, we take social media as an example, because it's one I think all of us feel like it would be great to automate. Perhaps you have one day a week, let's say Wednesdays, when you create all of your different Instagram posts for the next week. And maybe you create one blog post. Then you can schedule that and you can sort of take the rest of the week to not have to focus on anything regarding the social media. You can just run your own business and the social media will run itself. If you want to be even a little bit more efficient, you can do this for a couple weeks at a time. So perhaps you take, let's say, two days in a row 
and you create content for a whole month. And then you don't have to think about these things for a whole month. And that can be a really good way to make your business a lot more efficient. You have a lot more time for strategy and you know that things will always be there. Even if you're ill for one day, your social media will be updating. You will be top of mind. And that is a really good value for someone who is running their own business. The very last step that we want to do is to track how it's actually working because it's great to set and forget everything, but we want to check in a little bit once in a while. So this is where it maybe doesn't feel quite automatic, but you can make this really rare. So let's say once a month, you just have a look and see, is it working? Are people actually reacting to this comment, uh, to this content that I'm posting? Let's say you're looking at Instagram, perhaps you want to go into a tool that tracks how people are engaging and see, oh, am I posting at the right times? Maybe I can just make a tweak and post it at a different time of day and that will help my engagement and my growth. So looking at these different things and seeing, you know, kind of just checking in with everything and seeing where can I tweak my automation? What is something that is working really well? What is something that mm, actually I realized this is something that I need to also try to automate and just kind of keep improving everything in your business as you go along. So I hope you found that helpful. Uh, if you want more topics on automation and how to use different tools in your creative business, I would love to do something like that. So just let me know in the comments below. If you found the video useful or helpful, share it with a friend or someone else in the creative industries and I'll see you next time. Bye.